Hi friends, and welcome back to another episode of our 1.20 Let's Play series. In today's episode, we are finally building a barn. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. There's a lot of random animals just like roaming around, so we're going to build them a place to live. And I think it'll be a pretty cute build. It's going to be medium-sized-ish, but we're probably going to hide some sneaky farms inside as well. Not sure if we'll get around to those today or not, though. So to start with, we just need to collect some extra resources that I don't have yet. So in this shulker box, I've got a whole lot of spruce, a lot of dark oak, some stone, which I'm going to turn into um, stone walls mostly. But I did need andesite. And I don't have much of it left because I have actually been using that for some of our builds. So I was kind of stressing and I was like, where am I going to find some more andesite? I had no idea you could craft it from diorite and cobblestone. Like I had no idea. So let me know in the comments if you knew you could do that because that's wild. So i um, not sure if this will be enough, but at least that's like more than we had. <laughs> it's quite a bit to get us kind of started, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. So besides these resources, like this is definitely enough to get us started, but I'm probably going to pop over to our iron farm and grab some iron for things like chains and if we need any more like lanterns and stuff. So I'm going to quickly go grab that. Before recording, I did just um, chop down all of our chorus plants so that I could make some extra end rods. So that's why that's looking a bit short at the moment. It should be growing away. Oops, a daisy. Growing away though. So yeah, I'll just grab a little bit of that. I will have to come and empty that out soon, but that's okay. <laughs> We're probably going to build an extra stable because I do want to collect quite a few horses because I think they're really cute. Um, and that'll probably be in the opposite sort of side of this little, not quite valley. Um, yeah, so we'll pop that there. I'll pop the iron in there. So the next thing we're going to need is a fair bit of moss. Um, we're going to use moss for the roof um, and like make it look all overgrown. I'm not sure if I'll put dirt in there as well. Maybe a little bits here or there. I'll go have a look how much I have in my storage room. I have a feeling it's not much though. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to need more of that. So if I grab some bone meal... I'm going to need more than that as well. All right, I'll grab some bone meal over in our skeleton spawner. So I'll show you all the spot that I've been kind of using to gather bone meal. It's literally just this cavern area here. <laughs> I might actually start up here a little bit as well. So I've just literally been placing a moss block down and then growing it out and then hoeing it all up so i'm going to grab quite a bit of this and i'll come back to you all when i'm done okay i'm on my way back from gathering the moss i hope that should be enough <laughs> i'm not really sure if it will be or not but i just thought i would pop away the moss carpets as well as the azalea bushes because i'm not going to need those i'll put the seeds over with the other seeds and while i'm here we do also need glass so we're going to be using white glass panes Okay, so first up, we're going to have to dig out a little bit of the dirt there that's inside the square because I'm going to have the back bit kind of merging into the mountain, but I do not want it inside the building. So let's jump over and start clearing out this spot. Okay. 
Okay, I had to have a little mining break because it started raining and I really did not want to record in the rain. So <laughs> I went and collected a whole heap of extra andesite. So we should be good to go there now. Um, yeah, so back to this. We have dug out any bit that was inside my little rectangle here and now we're ready to put the pillars in. So the outside pillars are going to be six tall. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. These inside ones are going to be ten tall. And of course, all of this is going to have to be stripped, but I can't reach that from there. That's fine. I'll pop in a cross beam so then I can reach up the top of these ten tall. Hopefully my axe can survive this. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to go around and pop in the rest of the pillars. So all of the ones along the side are going to be six tall and then just the two back ones there will be ten tall as well. And I'll come back when I've finished putting all of these in and stripping it all. All right, I had to sleep away the rain again, but <laughs> it's the next morning and sunny now. And I have finished putting in all of the stripped spruce pillars and beams. So we can now walk through here. And you can see how tall the center part's going to be. And then there's like going to be the little side stalls for all the animals as well. And yeah, that's just the general sort of shape. I've got the slightly elevated part in the top there. It's going to be even taller because it does have like quite a, not a super pointy roof, but it does go up a little bit more. So that's why that top layer is not too tall. But now we're going to move in onto the filling in the side squares here. So we're actually going to use walls, but I will probably just actually, I should do it while we're doing it, but mix in some of the stone as well. So using mostly andesite, I think. Um, And just a little bit of the stone brick, but we'll have a look and see how it looks. Maybe just one more here. Yeah, and then they're going to have nice big open windows filling in this area with the white glass. And then, oh, and in the middle. <laughs> and then it makes it look all like smooth, but slightly indented when you use the walls as walls. So I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to go around and do that on a few more sides now as well. Sometimes for some reason the shaders make the glass look a little bit strange, but that's okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do that on most of these open windows. I might fill in some of the back walls a little bit differently because I think I am going to fill a little bit more of this dirt in so that we can have a secret little area behind here <laughs> but we'll leave that for later but yeah I think it's gonna look good I really like these sort of walls and the color combo with like a lot of the andesite Okay, I've filled in all of the side walls now so oops <laughs> forgot a little bit of glass here accidentally turned all of my bone meal into white dye as well so <laughs> I'm gonna have to get more bone meal soon but yeah so we've finished all of the walls the ones in the back corners here are just full blocks but I don't think the difference is that much that it looks weird um it's a little bit flat on the outside but I might put like a little awning over one side maybe to do like a little sort of outside workstation so now I think we will work on the roof, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'll grab all of the dark oak blocks. We're gonna start off this little bottom layer roof with some slabs. So I'm gonna place the slab trim all the way around here. So 
then I think we're going to trying to keep it low so it does basically come out that way a bit it'll be like flat like that and then oh no I think that's too many then up like that I think okay I think it goes like that so it kind of is just a slope but a little bit of a softer slope yeah we'll roll with that so this level of roof is going to be all dark oak um just like all the way across it's the roof on top that's going to have a dark oak trim and then be filled with like moss and dirt and plants and stuff and look all like lush and overgrown so i'm just gonna fill the rest the rest of the roof in on this bottom side and then i'll do the other side on this level as well and then we'll come back and do the top roof okay i have both roofs in now but i have realized i've popped this um, beam kind of in the wrong spot so i'm gonna have to take that down do want the external one still up that high but it actually is going to be dark oak along here which you won't see because of the roof and then it's going to be the stripped sort of beam across there which you will see so there's only really like a one block gap between where this roof ends and the next one begins so i'm gonna have to fix that up real quick okay i've fixed up the beam and the bit that's going to be kind of i guess hidden by the rest of the roof but i just thought i'd pop it in while i was sort of doing the other beam I've started a little bit of this roof but I won't finish it just yet but first we're going to run um, the stairs all the way along the edge like so I'm gonna have to use scaffolding to get back up <laughs> so I'll jump into free cam, cam real quick because this little bit's actually hard to see while we're up here but it's basically, oops, so the stairs stepping up, but then these stairs are upside down, stairs facing forward, and it kind of has these cool effects, like where the edge blends in with the step, but then it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, I think it's really cool. So I'm going to do that on both sides until it meets in the middle, and I'll run the stairs along the other edge. Okay, so... I've met in the middle and we have this little like cross section happening. Oh, wrong way. Cross section happening at the top, which I think is really cute. And I just thought it gives us something a little extra um, to the build. I've seen something similar on one of Grayson's builds. Um, it was a completely different build to this, but it just had like the cross roof bit. And so I really like that. This little bit here is going to have a lantern hanging off it. Um, but yeah, so if we go back here, I'm just going to put the top sort of cross beam in and then do the roof on the other side as well i do really wish i had swift snake <laughs> we're probably gonna have to go down into a deep dark um ancient city soon and try and get a swift snake because that would come in real handy Okay, so we have the cr uh, crosses in now and the top beam. So basically now it's just moss, like, all the way. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to swap in any um, other, like, dirt blocks or not, or anything yet. I'm just going to fill it in with moss and see how I feel. Um, if it needs, like, a different colour breakup, I could do, like, little patches of other dirt maybe. Um, but I do like the moss blocks as if they are just like grass, but all green with no dirt. So I'll keep 
filling that in for now. Am I the only one that sucks at walking backwards? I try, but I always end up like falling off things and can never get the angle quite right. <laughs> I should probably practice. I've filled in the rest of the roof with the moss. We're not going to decorate it right now. We'll come back to that later. But for now, we're going to do some more on the inside of the build. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, it's a bit dark up here, <laughs> but we are going to fill in the roof with some more dark oak so that you can't see the boss anymore. So I'm going to do that with some stairs. Try not to fall off the scaffolding. Whoops, so Daisy, that's not quite right. Oh, actually, we do leave that row there free because that is going to... Be, oh, my God. That is going to be um, blocks to fill in this sort of gap, I guess you would say. And I also need a few more of just the dark oak planks. Can I reach up there? Yes, I can. Oh, nearly fell down. Yeah, so I'm just going to fill in more of this roof. Hopefully with not too many mistakes like that slowing me down. <laughs> and yeah. The ceiling is all finished and I've added some extra lanterns for more lighting because it is such a big space that it still felt a bit dark especially I put three up originally and it was still feeling a little bit dark so I put an extra two up um yeah but I think oh, why do I always press that button I feel like it's coming together in here the roof's all nice and neat now the walls are looking good but I think we need to finish the front and the back a bit better <laughs> so do I have all the blocks necessary maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. I will scaffold up to the top little triangle bit first, I think. Okay, so up here we are filling basically it all in just with stone and andesite like we have everywhere else. And we're going to put just a little window right there. Also should add our lantern that's hanging off this little overhang bit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Like so. Now for this layer here, we're actually going to keep it like open. Um, so I'm putting fence, fence and an end rod. Whoops. <laughs> Not like that. Like that. And I am also using another texture pack from Vanilla Tweaks. A lot of my mods and texture packs are from them. And it doesn't put an end plate on the end rods so it just looks so neat and so smooth and I am obsessed like it looks so good I should have added it sooner to be honest oh my god those pillages oh my god can never put those on right so yeah fence to end rod to fence and then just all along here we're adding more fence I'm not sure if I'll put any flaws on the inside I don't think I will but I also want it to look like a little safer I guess um like it's not just a huge open area that anyone could walk out of <laughs> so that's basically it for this area I am going to put a planter box up here under that window but I just don't have the oh I've got a block up there can I yeah yeah there we go um yeah I just don't have all the materials on me just yet so we'll add that when we add some of the other finer finishing details 
So now we'll work on this um, open doorway. I am going to leave it open, not like close. It won't have any real like doors per se. So we're filling in an extra little layer just with planks and bringing it out a step. Now we're going to come in with stairs in the corners to round them out and also trap doors up above, making sure they're all facing the right direction. Oops. And then also trap doors down the sides. These are kind of just for decoration. Um, well, obviously it's for decoration, but they do sort of look like they could almost be like a door that would swing out as well. Um, even though that doesn't make sense with the top bit, but I still think it looks cute. Okay, so now we actually need to go craft some campfires and I don't have the stuff needed on me for campfires. And I also don't, oh, they just despawned. Never mind. I was going to say, I don't want to get near the pillagers. Um, yeah, so I'm going to definitely need some more wood and obviously like some coal and stuff. So we'll just nip back over to our storage room. All right, we'll give that a go, see how it goes. I'll leave the coal on me just in case. To start us off, we're going to add our um, stone walls, and then I'm pretty sure it's a three block gap. Two, three, and there. And then we're going to add fences up there and up there with our end rods in between. Oh, yeah. Come on. We then put a fence on top of these ones at the front as well. And then we're going to grab... I don't have any slabs. All right, I have to grab some slabs real quick. So we'll pop some slabs on top and bring that all the way back. And then across the front and other side as well. Perfect. So we'll drop down now. Oh, actually, no, we do need to get back up. We do it from the top it's easier with the shovel so now we are putting campfires whoops all along here trying not to set myself on fire Oh no, with three short. Should we just leave them alight like this? All the animals can live in constant fear. <laughs> just joking. So yet another texture pack <laughs> that I am obsessed with from Vanilla Tweaks is their um, coalless campfires when they're put out i just think it looks so much better and it looks like actual lattice and i love it <laughs> so they're all facing the same way down under here i think that layout's fine so i'll quickly just uh, craft three more so i've just realized the last little bit we haven't filled in is actually on the sides here totally missed these bits 
hopefully I still yeah, have the andesite on me. So just something like that. And then I am going to have to temporarily take that out, pop that there, and then put that back. Yeah. So now I just have to do that over the other side as well. So besides a little bit of decoration, like a little bit of a plan to put up there and then maybe some extra leaves covering the gazebo, not the gazebo, it's not a gazebo, it's like a front awning, not an awning, front porch, it's not really a porch, the front little roof bit here, <laughs> um, that's basically the front done. So yeah, we will put a few finishing touches on it, but for now that's it. So I'm just going to put the back in it's basically the same, but just a slightly smaller doorway opening here. So now the back wall's filled in and it is the same sort of shaped arch. I've just made it a little bit narrower so it's not such a big opening we'll have when we push that back into the mountain. Um, yeah, but and I did end up kind of filling that in with stairs. I'm not 100% sure if I like it. So let me know what you think of that wall and I might change it. I might not. I'm not sure. Or I could, no, too many light uh, end rods would look a bit silly, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and then I also added just a little bit of a sort of awning area over here as well. So I'll probably stack maybe some wheat, put like an extra crafting table and bits and pieces in there when I decorate it. Um, cause yeah, we're going to redo our farming area. That's cute and I love it, but we're going to do a similar style, but just way bigger. <laughs> so we might do like the wheat here and then we could have like the hay bales, um, stacked up under there, like storage for the animals or something perhaps. Yeah, I think it looks okay. It's only a little one. I could bring it across. But then if you put blocks up against the walls, like for example, that, it joins and then you'll see the little lip of it on the inside. So I'm going to try my best not to um, put anything against these big window walls um, unless I want to change them into flat ones like that wall here, which I can do. Um, because like it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. There could be like more windows on one side than the other and things like that. It's still a work in progress. What I've done now is basically all like not even to this level, but basically all I'd planned out in the creative world. So from here, I'm kind of just winging it. So now we're going to start adding some more of the details in on the inside. So like separating out the little animal pens and things but I just need to reorganize my inventory. So I'll go do that. Okay, next up, I'm going to start decorating the inside of all of these stalls. So I think I'm just going to go into a bit of a montage of me filling these in. So I'm going to jump right on that. camera I added this little mezzanine area um, I just felt like it did need a little bit extra in this space so if we go up the ladder you'll see it's just got a bed a crafting table some chests and then stacks of like hay and logs around to make it look like it's storage up here so I think it turned out really cute I also added some spiderwebs <laughs> um, yeah so that's just up here there's ladders on both sides and a little fence and we can sleep if we get stuck here or if we need to grab extra hay. So now we're going to go in with a whole heap of our dirt 
locks um, and texture inside the pens a little bit. So I'm going to jump back into another montage of us texturing the floor and adding in some other decorations. So this first pen here, our last to decorate, is going to be for our pink sheep. So we're going to make it cute with some cherry blossom leaves all around and just make it nice and pink for the special pink sheep. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks cute. Just a little bit top and bottom, maybe an extra one there. And then also maybe a flower pot. The cherry. No, I don't like it there actually. <laughs> Let's just put it on the ground somewhere. That, yep. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> um, and then a cauldron for their water as well. Okay, it's getting dark, so I need to sleep. And then when I come back, we're going to add all of the animals into their pens. All right, so the first animal we're going to bring over is our pink sheep that's been stuck over in this boat for a long time. <laughs> so I'll try not to hit it as we break the boat. There we go. Follow me, little pink sheep, and I'll take you to your new home. Okay, and here we are. So come inside, make yourself at home. Hope you like your new little house. I think she likes it. Next up, there should be some chickens just over here. Um, when I've been traveling to and from our area to the village, I keep seeing chickens and eggs over here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's one. Is there any others? If not, I guess we're starting with one. Okay, just come this way, little chicken, and we'll take you to your new home. It's, you're gonna love it. This way. So just come right through here, and this is your new home, and I'll go find you some friends soon. <laughs> Okay, so I brought the rest of the animals in off camera because it was taking forever. We have a black sheep to be friends with our pink because I really, you know, kind of resonate with a black sheep. <laughs> then we have some pigs in this little area with the mud and the water. There's still, I think, a few pigs on our island that I'll have to bring over because there was just so many over there. It was really random. So I hope they like their home. We have another chicken and then I threw some of their eggs and got another little chick. Where did they go? Hello? Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Oops. And then in this one, we have two donkeys. These donkeys were over near our sniffer farm area. I rode them all the way over from over there. And then these are a lot of the llamas that I've collected from the wandering trader who just keeps going missing and leaving their llamas behind. We'll probably get a few more and get like a bit of a rainbow going. So all the different like carpet colors on the llamas. I do have a texture pack on that changes the look of their carpets a little bit just because I thought they look cuter this way. So we'll get a couple more in here. I don't know if we can get all of the colors because that might be too many llamas for this space, but we'll just get the cute ones and see how that goes. And then lastly, in this pen, we have three cows. 
it took me forever to find cows i had to go over to our village area um with the villages across the river and bring them back because there is just like no cows around on this area like in our area at all so i think the barn is looking pretty cute um i'm gonna probably finish this little area in an upcoming episode i'm just not ready to push it back yet but i might do a little bit of terraforming in between the episodes I've just finished adding the final touches to this little outdoor area. We've got a little crafting table there and a stack of the weed and some glowberries and pumpkins. So I think it's looking pretty cute. I'm now going to just grab this shulker box and we're going to um, head up onto the roof. I'll just grab my scaffolding and then I think I'm going to jump into a time lapse of me finishing decorating the roof. So we'll just jump up here and let's just get started. last thing we need to do on the barn is to spawn proof some of these um, dark oak areas that are like top slabs or full blocks so I'm just going to do that with some trap doors and alternating that with some buttons and we'll just pop those along so it adds a bit of texture as well as spawn proofing some of the blocks as well which is really good so I'm going to go along and oops <laughs> and I'll finish that off after I sleep real quick Okay, so with all of the trapdoors and buttons and a few pieces of just strategically placed glow lichen, we have spawn proofed both sides of the roof. So that is awesome. I'm just going to hop down now. And I think this is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Oops. There's a bit of moss up there. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you like the build. Let me know down in the comments what you think um, and if you would have changed anything. We'll add a few more last like little details in the next episode. This ep episode's just gone on long enough for today. So stay tuned for the next one where we're going to finish off this uh, build and area a little bit more. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.